of all, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the cast of The Color Purple. Yeah. It has been adapted to a big screen musical starring Taraji P. Hansen, yeah. Danielle Brooks, yeah. and Fantasia Take a look. I laid you out something. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's fancy. Mm -hmm. This ain't me. I hush. Put it on. You gonna be my kids tonight. We need to look like we belong. And the film's director, but it's Basboulet. Woo! Yes. Yes. Now, Fantasia. Yes. You played Celia on Broadway in 2007. Mm -hmm. And when you were presented with the opportunity to do this again to in the film, you initially said no. Yes. How come? Um, because her walk is not an easy walk. No. And she carries a lot. Mm -hmm. She carries everybody. Mm -hmm. And at the time when I was doing Broadway, I was carrying everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my life was so much like Celie's. Mm -hmm. So I guess I just went back to that. But I'm glad that I did it because I'm not that girl anymore. That's right. And I got to see so many different things in Celie. And she was really the ish. <laughs> <laughs> she was dope. She was. She was beautiful, she was bold, she was strong, she held everybody together, and yeah. she went through a lot of things, but look at Celie now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> now, Raji, okay. you play Shug Avery, mm. and this role seems to have been, been destined for you. Now, you were asked, you were originally asked to play her on Broadway many years ago, and you said no. So I want to ask you, what scared you about doing it back then, and what gave you the courage to play her now? Mm. Uh, what scared me back then was um, <laughs> singing next to who? Fantasia? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's just, you know, I know my vocal cords. I just knew that I couldn't stand eight shows a week. I just knew that. And so I ran, but she found me. And I guess what gave me the courage this time was Blitz, because he just mm -hmm. believed in me so much. He was like, you are our sugar. And I was like, are you sure it's me? He was like, please trust me. And I just have to keep thanking you for, for seeing that in me, because you did push me. And um, that's how I pick roles. They have to scare me. Otherwise, there's nothing for me. I can't, there's no transformation for me. How is the audience gonna transform? So thank you so much for. And you sounded good. Oh, she can see. You can see. Thank you. But I had amazing support from these women who can sign. Yeah. So, you know, honestly, I know it's cliche, but they were the, the wind beneath my wings, if, I, if you will. Seriously. Amazing. Wow. Thank you. Well, I, I'm serious. I thought the singing was incredible. I didn't even know she, you could sing. She sure now, can. now, Danielle, I knew you could sing. Yeah. Okay? Because uh, uh, you played Sophia on Broadway in 2015, and that earned you a Tony nomination. Yeah. Well, I knew that part. And but, I, but what I didn't know is that your journey to playing Sophia in this film um, started with a life-changing moment when you were just 15 years old. Yes. You, can you tell us about that? So when I was 15 years old, my father took me to see The Color Purple, because mm -hmm. it was really the only black Broadway show that was out besides The Lion King. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he sh awesome. took me to see it and in 2005. And I was mesmerized because I, for the first time, saw people that looked like me. Yeah. The whole cast was black and living in who they are. And so it was just a, a moment for me. Um, and it gave me this path. I was able to see so clearly, like, I, I can do this. Like, because I, I come from a very small town, Simpsonville, South Carolina. Shout out, South Carolina. What's up? <laughs> um, but yeah, so getting yeah. to Hollywood and get, oh, I didn't know how to do that. 
<laughs> and I saw I, there's a way. And so I ended up going to Juilliard, studying there. And 10 years later, y'all, I was 25. After hearing so many no's in this industry, mm. I got my first yes mm. being on Broadway. Wow. Starring in The Color Purple. Oh. Yeah. This, darling, <laughs> you also were hesitant yes. about doing that. Seems to be a theme here. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So what changed it? Yes. I mean, first, the color purple is, it's sacred grounds. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't just show yeah. up to it with nothing to offer or nothing mm. to contribute. Mm. So that was my first inclination was just to say, mm -hmm. I don't know what. It's been a brilliant Pulitzer Prize winning book. It's a incredible cinematic classic and we owe you. So, so for me, it was, it was going back to Alice's brilliant words. And for me, it was that opening line, mm -hmm. right? Dear God, I'm 14 years old, yeah. right? And, you know, the, the, for me, I knew immediately that anyone who can write letters to God has an imagination. Yeah. Yes. And immediately I said, if we could expand that imagination, if we could give Celie that expands mm -hmm. to dream all her dreams to, to live them in her head that will eventually help her to achieve them in real life, mm -hmm. then we'll actually be contributing to this canon, mm. right? And that for me was the main, and once I figured that out, I mean, it was about finding these brilliant women yeah. mm -hmm. to just bring life into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, Fantasia, there's a lot of joy in this film, but yeah. there's also, some really tough moments, especially when Celie is, she's beat by her husband, and you insisted on doing those scenes instead of using a stunt double. Yeah. Now, why was that important to you? Um, it was spiritual. Mm -hmm. It was important for me to do it so that I could let some things in my past go. Mm -hmm. It was the last whooping that I had to think about over, you know what I mean? It was like, and, and Coleman didn't want me to do it. He was just like, nope. Get her out of here right now. <laughs> I was like, Coleman, please. And he asked me, yeah. why do you want to do this? Mm. And I said, I need it. Yeah. Mm. It's for me. And you could control this weapon. Yes. Woo! yes. Come on. Yes. I'm going to give you another kiss. You better stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Coleman Domingo, who plays Mr. Yes. Yeah. in the film. He's yeah. not here with us today, but he's in the movie. Yes. 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 Um, Taraji. The movie is also, it's tough, but it's all about a sisterhood. And Celie, Suge, and Sophia, they get together and they, they get each other through a lot of dark moments, is, is what I perceived. Um, what, what was the sisterhood like behind the scenes, though, on the set with the cast? We had a lot of fun, we did. Mm. a lot of fun. And, you know, I play a lot of leading roles. I know what it takes to lead something like this with so much heaviness and yeah. having to deal with it and knowing at the time a little bit of her life, knowing that a lot of it she had to go through. I literally wanted to be there for comedic relief in between the takes, you know what I mean? <laughs> because, no, because it, it's spiritual what we do, you yes. understand? Yeah. We allow these characters and these stories to use our bodies as a vessel. That is, yeah. that is a real... <laughs> Like, if you think about it, that's you allowing this other energy, right? And so when she says, I didn't want to play Celie because I had too much going on in my life, I can't carry her cross and my cross. Yeah. What trained me to step out of that was I, be, I was a mother at the beginning of my career. So when I crossed that threshold, my kid didn't understand Hollywood. He had homework, PTA, right. what am I wearing? I got a game. So I had to train myself to turn it on and off. Oh. So I was able to kind of maneuver through that. But w yeah. those moments where she had to stay there, I would leave her, you know? Yeah. But the moments where I was like, ah, we got a little air to breathe, I would try to, like, make her laugh, kind of snap her out of it, so it could yeah. be fresh again. You don't live like that yeah. all the time. And you know? I thank you for it. Thank you. she kept everybody <laughs> laughing. Right. 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 Sometimes so I was hoarse. Yeah. And I stuck up under her really tight. I think we did the same for We each all other. did, yes.